Hello, um, today I'd like to show you a quick, really quick setup um, in order to create a minimal surface which is defined uh, in this Wikipedia. It is a surface that locally minimizes its area. So it's a surface that has a minimum area size. So I'll show you how to do that uh, using a SOP based node in Houdini. Without using any use without using any simulation based uh, node, right? So in order to do that, first let's create. I'm going inside a geometry node. Then let's create a base shape from box. And I'm gonna delete three faces. This one, this one, and this one to create this kind of shape first and this is going to be the base shape and these three faces are the surface that I would like to make it as a minimal surface as you can see this is not uh, optimized yet but by using the method I'm just gonna show you can smoothen out the surface into more um, elegant looking surface which is a minimal minimal surface and one point that I have to mention it is that these naked edges of these face faces is going to be preserved as it is so these uh, boundary edges will not change just the surface inside the curvature of the surface inside will change and the mean curvature of the total surface it's going to be closer to zero. That's the point uh, for this minimal surface. That's the definition, actually. Now, in order to do that, it's um, pretty simple. You just have to iteratively um, loop, iteratively uh, use the remesh and attribute blur with the Laplacian option to smoothen out the surface and that's all you have to do. So <clears throat> first of all let's give a for each loop for a, a iterative loop and let's set it to for each count and then set the gather method to feedback age iterations and fetch to fetch feedback. Right then, first thing, I would like to make it a remesh, right? And let's set the target size to something small like 0.05 to make uh, the, this base surface having a lot of points, a lot of uh, triangles like this. And then Let's first uh, set the iterations to 1, 2, so that I can <coughs> see the difference between the iterations. And now after the remesh, I am going to apply the attribute blur. Okay, and the, the mode Laplacian is okay. Step size to maybe 1, and blurring iterations, I'll just set it to like the maximum, like 100. And as you can see, even with the one iterations, I, I already see some smoothing out, smoothing on this surface, trying to make it like a minimum surface. But this is actually not enough. And if you continue doing this um, with this iterations, with with this setup, uh, by increasing this iterations, you can kind of see that. The surface going is going to be optimized at at its minimal uh, surface position, and at some point, the changes the change will stop. So, like ten might be enough, maybe twenty might be enough. So, at 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 around twenty iterations, it just stops to, at this uh, specific position and this is actually the the figure of the minimal surface and that's it I mean 
this is pretty much it in order to create a minimal surface out of basic shape like these. Now, <clears throat> um, if you want to have a kind of uh, animations uh, when uh, to in order to show the steps of the smoothing out, then you can just use a solver instead of the for each loop like this. And then let's copy these two then go inside the solver and paste the what you have created and I'm gonna set the attribute blurs and blurring iterations to some small numbers because if you want to see as an animation you don't want to just quickly show the result so let's set it to 10 or something lower and then if I play with the timer on I can see the animation that it's going from the basic shape to the minimal surface at some point it just stops like this and that's it that's pretty it it's pretty much it and you can try this setup for many other shapes uh, other than boxes like maybe you can create a circle uh, like this and set it to polygon, set it to Z explain for the orientation and then maybe set the radius to 0.5 and then the division to I don't know maybe 6 to make it a bit lower res and then let's pick some uh, corner points maybe or even number points then move it to upward like this and let's see how this setup will be uh, changed by using the minimal surface setup All right so if I see the result there's all there's the result look like this and the setup this um, method is pretty fast I think I can even set it to iterations 10 and pretty much the same result and I can pretty much do this interactively like even uh, for this kind of small setup like for example if I want to if I move this um, one of the points here let's select just one point let's see the result here and if I move this point here I can kind of uh, interactively see the result of the minimal surface how it's going to be like by moving this point And that's pretty interesting and maybe I can even make this target size a little bit smaller to make it more smoother and if I increase the iterations obviously if it'll, I'll get more correct um, geometry for the minimal surface now one thing I have to mention is mention is that for uh, this kind of geometry like tube, tube geometry, now let's make the radius to 0.5 and okay let's try it with these and let's set the division to 0.05 okay let, oh, let's also create the polygon and I don't need a blast here Okay, the blast is for the box right now as you can see if I use the tube for a minimal surface the the, the result look uh, the result kind of look like this even if I change the columns number of columns or rows doesn't really change the reason is because as a definition of minimal surface, it's try to make the surface 
area minimum. So the minimum area, uh, the the answer for this um, two in order to make it a minimal surface is to just to have two disk like this. So it actually is a correct answer to have this kind of uh, geometry. So in order to avoid that, one thing you can set the height to smaller than the radius so that it won't become, it won't have um, kind of a scratch tube. So in this case, even if you increase the iterations, it will just stay as it is. But once you move this height a bit more than the radius, then it start to squeeze and at some point it's just squash. So that you have to uh, be careful of, but it is a true, um, it is showing the true, um, how do I say, the behavior of the minimal surface. So pretty interesting and you can just simulate this using this pretty easy setup and same for this uh, solver so connect this to the solver and start from the beginning to play and at some point yeah just have this kind of splitting and if I make the height a little bit smaller maybe it will stop at some point like this right so that's it that's it for uh, how you can create a minimal surface setup <coughs> um, it is often used in architecture to find a best surface for fabrication um, it's also good for form finding um, tool i hope you would use it at, at some some of your purpose with your purpose all right that's it thank you